All right, and welcome back. In this video, we are going to be going through Chapter 8, Section 3, titled The Converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. By the end of this video, we should be able to state and apply the converse of the Pythagorean Theorem and related theorems about obtuse and acute triangles. So let's have our guide and notes. Let's begin. So remember, the Pythagorean Theorem says if triangle ABC is a right triangle, then A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. The converse is also true. If a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, then triangle ABC is a right triangle. So if the square of one side of a triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the triangle is a right triangle. And in example one, we are asked, if a triangle is formed with the sides having the lengths given, is it going to be a right triangle? For a, we have 16, 30, and 34. B, we have 3, 4, and 6, and C, we have 1, 7, and 7. What we have to do first is identify which one would be our hypotenuse. Your largest length is going to be your hypotenuse here. So for A, it would be 34. For B, it would be 6. And for C, it would technically be 7 if, if it even exists. So our solution as we go through, we're going to square 16 and 30 and add them together and find the relationship to the squared of 34. Well, we find out that 1,156 is equal to 1,156, so A does make a right triangle. For B, we're going to do 3 squared plus 4 squared and find the relationship between that and 6 squared. We end up with 25 on the left-hand side and 36 on the right, and 25 is not equal to 36, which means it is not going to be a right triangle. And then for C, we have 1 squared plus 7 squared is what to 7 squared? Well, we are automatically going to know that 1 squared plus 7 squared is bigger than 7 squared, and it's not equal. So therefore, it is not a right triangle. With this in mind, please work on problems 1 through 4 on the guided notes and resume when you're ready to move forward. So a triangle with sides of 3, 4, and 5 is a right triangle because 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. Any triangle with sides 3n, 4n, and 5n, where n is a positive number, is also a right triangle because 3n squared plus 4n squared is equal to 5n squared. Multiples of any three lengths that form a right triangle will also form right triangles. And these groups of three lengths are what we call Pythagorean triples. If you use them, you can save yourself some time and some effort. So here is a list of some popular Pythagorean triples. 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, 8, 15, 17, and 7, 24, 25. Again, these are Pythagorean triples. If we know them and we know the multiples of them, it may save us some time and some effort. With this in mind, please try to apply these in problems 5 through 8 on the guided notes and resume when you're ready to move forward. So if the square of the longest side of a triangle is greater than the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the triangle is an obtuse triangle. And likewise, if the square of the longest side of a triangle is less than the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the triangle is going to be an acute triangle. These theorems say that by comparing c squared to a squared plus b squared, you can determine if a triangle is acute, right, or obtuse. Over on the left-hand side, if c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, then angle c is a right angle, and triangle abc is a right triangle. In the middle, if c squared is greater than a squared plus b squared, then angle c is obtuse, and triangle abc is what we call an obtuse triangle. And lastly, over on the right-hand side, if c squared is less than a squared plus b squared, then angle c is acute, and triangle abc is an acute triangle. So in example number two, we are asked if a triangle is formed with the given lengths, is it acute, right, or obtuse? And for A, we have 8, 12, and 13, and B, we have 4, 4, and 7. We have to first identify what could be our hypotenuse. So for A, it could be 13, and for B, it could be 7. So our solution is going to be as follows. For A, we're going to compare 13 squared to the sum of 8 squared plus 12 squared, and we end up that 169 is less than 208. 
And so since that 13 squared, or c squared, is less than the sum of the squares of the other two legs, then the length is going to form an acute triangle. And for b, we have 7 squared compared to 4 squared plus 4 squared. Well, 49 compared to 16 plus 16 is going to be greater because 49 is greater than 32. So since it is now greater, we're going to find that the lengths form an unobtuse triangle. And with this in mind, please work on problems 9 through 20 on the guided notes. You're doing a great job. Keep up the great work. Keep making yourself proud. Let us know if you have any questions. And we'll talk to you soon.